What if Hitler never invaded the Soviet Union? On June 22, 1941, Hitler invaded the Soviet Union. This was probably one of the most defining events of the Second World War. Without such an event occurring, the entire course of the war and of history will be changed. I am sure you have all heard of Operation Barbarossa, as it was called. In hindsight, it may seem like a foolish thing to do. Why in the world would Hitler attack the world's largest nation? It had defeated Napoleon of all people, and he was a brilliant military leader. I guess you could try to explain away the fact that Hitler invaded the Soviet Union and fought in true fronts because he was crazy and a megalomaniac. But that is not the full explanation. Yes, he was a bit off, but he also had other motives for invading the Soviet Union, the one-time ally, and turning the tables on Stalin. Hitler sincerely believed that the German people needed more living space, or Leben strong, as he called it in his book, Mein Kampf. He said that it was needed to secure the future of the German people, and said that it was purely a racial war that he was going to fight with the Russians. Hitler said that the Slavs were subhuman people that were ruled by Jewish Bolsheviks. Yes, this sounds ridiculous, but this is what Hitler believed. He thought that the war between the Aryans and the subhuman non-Aryans of the Soviet Union would dominate the destiny of Europe. So basically, the war against the Soviet Union was motivated more by the racial hatred of Hitler more than anything else. No strategy or anything, just pure racial hatred. Also, there was the conflicting ideologies of communism and fascism, and Hitler's belief that he could use the Slavs and their land for slave labor and agriculture. So, thus the invasion of the Soviet Union began. Stalin wasn't prepared for the invasion at all. At all. I mean, the man had purged all of his best military officials during the Great Purge of the 1930s. The Russian military was not ready for the invasion. Hitler did make some gains into Russia, but the army was not prepared for the Russian venture and stopped just short at the Russian capital of Moscow. The defeat of the Nazis at Stalingrad was a death blow to the Germans. After this battle, they were on the losing side, and the war was essentially done for. The German war machine at last had been stopped. So what if this didn't happen? What if Hitler, for some reason or another, chose not to engage the Soviets? Well, as you said before, he was almost fanatical over his racial beliefs. It is unlikely that he would let go of those beliefs. However, if this timeline were to work, Hitler has to at least soften his beliefs about the Slavs. So let's say that in an alternate timeline, Hitler is not as racist against the Slavs, and instead keeps his pact with Stalin. We must say that in 1940, the Soviet Union was actually very close to joining the Axis powers. Hitler presented a proposed argument for the Axis entry in 1940, to which Stalin responded with a hearty proposal back. However, Stalin never got a response back, since Hitler was secretly forming the plans for the invasion of Russia. So in this timeline, Hitler instead would accept the help of the Slavs. Remember, in this time, Hitler never hates the Slavs. I don't know why, but for the invasion to have never taken place, this deep-rooted hatred of the Slavs would have to be removed. So, Stalin becomes the fourth member of the Axis Pact that already includes Hitler, Mussolini, and Tojo. What would the new war look like with the Soviets on the Axis side? Well, we can pretty much say that the war has a very high chance of going to the Axis side in this case. Well, one can object and say that America would outproduce the Axis powers with their numerous industries and all that. But one must also look at why Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, due to an embargo on raw materials and a perceived threat of the American Navy. If the Soviets were on the Axis side, Japanese could simply use the Russian raw materials instead to fuel their expansionary plans, so they would never attack Pearl Harbor. The U.S. would also be deterred from entering the war, especially if the Soviets were to enter the war on the Axis side. An industrial powerhouse that had a greater population than the U.S. would not be a good enemy to go up against. After all, the Soviets were the one that stopped the Nazi war machine. So in this timeline, since Hitler never has anti-Slavic racial hatred, Slavic and Germanic soldiers fight together, pushing deep into Britain and North Africa. It's likely that they will be able to seize vast swaths of the Middle East. The raw materials of Russia were one objective for the Nazis, 
And since they would already have access to it, the war machine would keep on rolling. Eventually, after conquering vast swaths of Europe, Asia, and Africa, America would realize that it had made a mistake in not declaring war on the Axis powers, but it would be too late by that time. After the war is done, a three-way Cold War would ensue between the three main powers, Japan, Russia, and Hitler's Germany. Since Japan would be the weaker of the three powers, Stalin and Hitler would be the main rivals after the war. You could see intense tensions and skirmishes between the two groups. But to what extent is not known? Well, that is the end of our What If Hitler Never Invaded Russia timeline. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for more great content.